Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. September 24th, 2019, the Nissan is still a mess edition. First up, from Francine McKenna at MarketWatch, uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission has settled charges with PwC for improper professional conduct in conjunction with 19 engagements on behalf of 15 SEC registered companies and for violating auditor independence rule in connection with engagements with one additional issuer. In that instance, PwC performed non-audit services for an audit client. Uh, PwC will pay $7.9 million in a monetary penalty. Uh, PwC and, and its partner involved, Brandon Sprankle, will uh, rather neither admit it nor deny the uh, SEC's violations. Sprankle separately agreed to pay a civil penalty of $25,000 and be suspended from appearing or practicing for the commission with a right to reapply for reinstatement. After four years, PwC also agreed to review its current quality controls for complying with auditor independence requirements and for non-audit services and evaluating its provision of non-audit services. In our lead story today, uh, Nissan is just an incredible miasma right now as the general counsel has raised conflict of interest concerns around the uh, his boss who uh, handles the legal department or oversees the legal department having conflicts of interest with uh, the law firm engaged to do the internal investigation. Um, the company did not bring in new counsel. They hired their regular counsel, Latham and Watkins, who had a relationship with Hari Nada, the senior vice president of Nissan, who oversees the company's legal department. Uh, Mr. Nada is cooperating with the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission and other relevant agencies uh, as he is uh, part of a group who uh, engaged in the conduct which led to the arrest of Carlos Gosen. So he would seem to be a very good candidate for not being involved in this investigation yet. Apparently he still is. Additionally, other conflicts of interest have been brought forward by the general counsel, but they've not been presented to the board. That also includes whistleblower claims. Um, have not made it to the board. So a very big problem, set of problems over at Nissan continue. Uh, From the FCPA blog, Technique FMC has paid $5 million to settle FCPA violations in an action brought by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, Earlier in the summer, they paid $296 million to settle FCPA offenses with the Department of Justice. The SEC noted that they gave credit to um, Technique FMC for uh, its uh, payments uh, to the Department of Justice and to Brazil uh, as well. And finally, uh, the NCAA uh, apparently will charge Kansas with multiple level one allegations. So the NCAA finally is going after a tier one school for uh, level one violations and specifically against head coach Bill Self. Uh, and they've also thrown in the ubiquitous charge of lack of institutional control. They will receive level two violations uh, which are for such uh, major fi- uh, infractions as having extra workouts. So even when they uh, appear to be bringing something significant and actual weighty and serious, they just can't seem to not trip over themselves going forward. Nevertheless, for the NCAA, this is a huge uh, step forward uh, to bring a, a charge against a very well-known Tier 1 coach. Uh, Kansas says it's going to aggressively defend itself, from the allegations, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see if the NCAA will follow through with any of this, uh, as is their not want to do going forward. I hope you'll check out the latest podcast on the Compliance Podcast Network, The Walden Pond, hosted by Vince Walden. I know you'll enjoy it.